Okay, this is one of the test questions, mysterious. We forgot which one it is, but it doesn't matter. So the setup is you have nitrogen in two isomers of, or not isomer, isotopes. The nitrogen 14 is this mass of AMU. Nitrogen 15, 15.001 AMU. And it's saying basically those are the two most common isotopes of it. It also says that the, this is basically the atomic mass of nitrogen is this number, 14.0067. And if you look at your periodic table, it usually says 14.01. That's where that number comes from, just more sig figs. Okay, it wants to know the mass percent of nitrogen 15. So, same setup, all isotope questions, if they're math related, have the same setup. So what happens is, you have the atomic mass equals the sum of the percent abundances times whatever the AMU are, the isotopic masses. Okay, so it's the sum of all those. In this case, we have uh, nitrogen 14 and 15, and that's it. Okay, so it's only those two to choose from. So we can kind of set up a little equation to help us solve for this. So we'll go the atomic mass, 14.0067 equals, that's the atomic mass. The percent abundance of this one, we don't know. Let's just call it, uh, and we'll have to put it in terms of a decimal. We'll just say x times 14.0031, okay? Plus, there's only one more. I'll skip its percent abundance for a second. Times 15.01. Well, you could call it y if you wanted to. That's okay, but in terms of x, the sum of these will equal 100%, or in decimal forms, the sum of these equal 1. Is that okay? So I'll just go 1 minus x. Or if you put them, and now that's in decimal, in percent, this percent plus, uh, you know, whatever this percent is will equal 100%. But we move the decimal over two places. And now we go, we got one equation and one unknown. Should just solve for it. Okay. It'll be in a decimal, you multiply by 100 to get percent. Okay? Okay? Yeah. So, typically, we ask you for this number, which you can double check always in the periodic table. We could, like we did here, ask for this one. If there's two, you just set up the decimal one, a little equation like this. Or we could ask you for this one or this one, whatever. But there would only be one unknown total. Okay, I think I'm confused on the 1 minus x part. Ah, okay. So now you're set. Okay, thanks. Okay, cool.